Hey guys, this is James. And this is Denny from TDB bringing you guys episode 208. So today uh, we have some floating leaves tea located here in the uh, streets of Seattle. Um, <laughs> and we got some Dong Ding. Uh, it's called Three Roast, uh, presumably because it's been roasted three times. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, I have, uh, I've had this tea in the shop before. I, I don't know if I've sessioned it at home, so. Cool, let's do it. Smell it. great aroma immediately, and that's just from throwing the lid on there. And I'm giving this, you guys are noticing, hopefully more than just a flash brew. I want to get into the tea leaves a little bit quickly, more quickly. Floating leaves stuff in general, it's gonna be really good. You don't need to do this. You can go for uh, just sort of slowly, you know, slowly start it up or do something kind of like this. Looks like they're pretty tightly packed leaves. Yeah, so. You know, guy really, lawn will work, but even something like some clay might be useful for something like this. Really sweet, uh, roasty aroma to to this thing. It smells yeah. very nice, actually. Oh, it smells really nice. Hmm. A little nutty acorn stuff going on. Some baking yeah. spice kind of reminding. A little nose there. I'm going to let this hang out again for another Yeah, it looks 15. like you can... Uh, right? Yeah. And once you guys are getting into, and gals out there, and uh, Zer people, and kinfolk, or whatever, um, <laughs> once you guys are, are and, whatever, um, <laughs> get to, you know, third steeping, the leaves have expanded completely, that's when you're really doing the flash brews, right? Yeah. It, with these rolled oolongs, it's a little bit different than brewing, uh, yeah. like, uh, twisted oolongs, or, right. or just... Or even I find, frankly, even green oolongs seem to open up a little bit more quickly. But, you know, that's a huge difference in the volume right. of the leaf in the cup. So, so they James, really expanded. You, yeah, you, you uh, weighed this out for us. How much... Um, We're doing about 4.5 grams for 70 milliliters. Yeah. So, it's not an insignificant amount of A little of bit leaf. higher than I would do, maybe. Yeah. But uh, I think for these roasted teas, they can, they can really... Um, they're not can, quite as delicate exactly. as some of those. The 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 range um, right. of brewing parameters, I think, is a little bigger. Yep. So I got to say, even though we haven't tasted yet, really wonderful aroma. Yeah. I can smell it from here. Yeah. Uh, one of the nice things about drinking oolong. And are we drinking this? Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Got a little bit of that, almost like a wooey, minerally, very quick front to it, and then it kind of gets a little bit broader, and um, a little, maybe just really small hints of fruit, tasting yeah. the roast. I think the nuttiness, uh, sort of like that nutty roastiness, is definitely in the tea. Smooth, uh, pretty soft liqueur mm. overall. And so now, now is where... Denny could theoretically yeah. reduce the brew time because the leaves have expanded, so you're more immediately getting uh, uh, a lot of surface area around them. Yep. Key is to develop iron fingers so that when you do inevitably, um, <laughs> thank you, Kung Fu Master Shorgan here <laughs> teaching everyone, <laughs> uh, so that when you do inevitably burn living bejesus out of your fingers while um, pouring tea, yeah. you don't drop all your shit everywhere and uh, look like yeah. a damn fool. Yeah. Also developing the mom hands. The mom hands? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are the mom hands? It's like from cooking on like the campfire, you just pulling vegetables off of the stove top. <laughs> just with your bare hands? Yeah. <laughs> the mom hands are like, f like freaking bear paws or something. Anyway. Uh, to all the mom hands out there. <laughs> yeah, cheers, guys. And you never give someone a massage. <laughs> <laughs> Salute. Hmm. I'm really getting a lot of that minerally wooey thing going on. Yeah, it, enough. it doesn't taste exactly like a wooey, but it definitely has some of those minerals yeah. uh, uh, in it. I think whereas a wooey would sort of have a really strong minerally front and then it would just kind of like keep on staying. It's almost like you're drinking a vacuum of tea or something. Like you expect flavors to come up and they don't. And that's sort of its own flavor. 
this is sort of like there's that little like minerally front and then it kind of like pops with the roast and more round right. velvety stuff yeah um, and nutty notes very very smooth overall very easy drinking i would say mm, totally this is this is passing the mom test yeah do you notice that these uh roasted oolongs mm. are a little bit easier on like the stomach or or the body than uh, some of the green stuff. Have you ever noticed that? Um, I haven't noticed them being dramatically different. I think you're gonna have a bigger difference, sort of intra um, pr- um, production style. Um, so a raw pu'er versus an oolong will be much more different than a roasted versus a green oolong. Um, that being said, some do get me more than others. Definitely, young green tea, um, young green oolongs can, um, if I over brew them. Look at how much darker that is. If I overbrew them on like an empty stomach, we're drinking this. I'm on an empty stomach right now, actually, um, and I'm having no issue with it whatsoever. So, so. definitely soft, I'd say overall. Yeah. You know? um, and uh, I was gonna say I'm getting a little hint of um, floral, just a little bit, of mm. sort of like a residual. Yeah, I was, floweriness. I was about to say that I'm getting some really nice uh, aftertaste right now. Sort of at the back of the mouth, a little bit in the throat, just like a really nice sweet feeling just lingering in the mouth. So yeah. I'm definitely uh, enjoying that aspect to it. Yeah, and floating leaf stuff, period, is just really high quality. Um, I, I, I rarely, I think, I can't, I can't think of a miss uh, in terms of teas that I've had from them. So um, definitely check out floating leaves, floatingleaves.com. Floatingleavestea.com. I don't know. Look up floating leaves. Floating Google leaves, them. Floatingleaves.com. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they do a great job specifically with oolong, um, at yeah. least from my experience with them. Um, so, yep. Really Ta- Taiwanese oolongs. oolongs is what you want to get yeah. from floating leaves. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, let's give this another sniff, actually. Yeah, and you can see the leaves have just fully expanded in the Gaiwan. Uh, probably don't expect those to expand much more at this point. I think there's definitely a charcoal y smell in there. M- more so now yeah. than before. Yeah, yeah. With like, yeah, great roast. This is gonna be, this really feels like a great quality roasted oolong. Um, you know, although Dong Ding, there's so much, there's kind of a fair amount of variance within that category, actually. Yeah. yeah I put this, this on the much more roasted side. Definitely. Right? So roasted that it's been roasted three times. But there are some sort of greener Dong yeah. Dings out there. Too. Yeah, I mean, Dong Ding is a location. Right. Uh, but it's really associated with certain processing styles like Correct. being roasted but there's nothing to stop it from having a yeah. greener style yeah. dong ding I think I've had a competition grade greener um, dong ding from floating right. leaves and had a really pleasant experience too so check out what you can I mean it's even it's so cool you can even just be drinking you can be drinking so many different teas from the same mountain in Taiwan it's one of the coolest parts about tea is you can kind of just get deeper and deeper and deeper yeah um, so but let's drink this last cup Cheers, sir. Salud. Mm. Probably the thickest brew. Um, mm-hmm. Definitely a little bit of charcoal coming mm-hmm. into it. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting the way that this roast sort of enters the tea. Like, this is the first one that I'd say like, it's like a predominant part of the taste. Yeah. Uh, but not, not bitter, in a bad way. Not yeah. bitter, but also has that sort of, it's not quite like that crisp peaking flavor of notes. It's more of like those... You know, closer to nature, earthier, not earthy, in this case, kind of rocky or <laughs> uh, flavors. Um, so if you folks haven't experienced those flavors before on your palate, give it a shot. They might intrigue you. They might not be your thing. Always worth just giving it a shot. And what? how many, what is this, a three ounce sample? No. No, how many? Th- three roasts. I don't, I don't know how much is in this, to be honest. Well, we'll, we'll have to drink the whole thing and then we'll let you guys know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. But grab some samples, uh, explore, um, and drink a bunch of tea. So, and speaking of which, James, if folks do want to learn more about tea in general. Yeah. They should come check us out at tdb.org, uh, where we are releasing weekly uh, videos as well as sometimes in between and articles. So, uh, do that. Hit the subscribe button down below uh, and go check out Floating Leaves for some other uh, Taiwanese oolongs if that is your thing. We will see you guys next time. Cheers.